Dawn Peterson with Vivid Homes Group at eXp Realty. And today I want to chat about the truth about real estate commissions. When you think about selling your house, I have a pretty good idea what your top concerns are. So I'm going to take a quick shot at it. And if I miss something, leave me a comment or send me a direct message. So number one, how much can you sell your house for? Number two, how quickly can you sell your home with the least amount of stress? And number three, how much is it going to cost to sell, i.e. how much are you going to be paying realtors? Did I nail it? The reason I know a thing or two about this topic is because I've helped so many homeowners walk through the entire selling process. I know what their concerns are. I know where the hurdles are. I understand the goals and I know how to help sellers reach those goals. Um, as your real estate agent, I can help you with all three of those things. But today I want to focus on how commission works as it relates to number three. Um, because many people tend to focus there first and that's okay. Just don't get hung up there. Um, unless you know exactly how it works. So let's dive in and take a quick look at that. First, I'm going to share with you how commission does not work. So when you ask an agent how much they charge to list a home and they tell you that isn't their personal commission. So if an agent tells you that they charge 7%, 6%, or 5%, um, that isn't actually what they're depositing into their bank account. Um, that money gets split up four different ways. Um, and so how that works is, um, so for starters, we'll start with the 2.7% out of that 6% that goes to the buyer's agent and their broker. And the reason for that is, is when we list your home, we, op we offer a cooperating commission percentage to the agent and the brokerage who represents the person who's actually buying your home. And then that agent and that broker will split the money based on the commission structure that they have at that brokerage. That leaves 3.3% left for the listing agent and their broker where their license is held to split. After that, the listing agent is left with about 1.5%, but before they can take that full 1.5% home, they have to pay taxes, their real estate fees, their MLS dues, um, the cost of installing a sign, cost of lock boxes, cost of having that sign made, staging, photography, print marketing, you get the idea, the list goes on and on. After that, you're left with about 1.1%. But what about actually marketing your home to sell? So if you want those first two concerns taken care of, which are to sell your home for the most amount of money in the least amount of time with the least amount of stress, that agent is going to have to spend some money marketing your home. And that might include things like professional photography, um, because first impressions matter. And buyers are seeing your home for the first time online, and you don't want to miss out on any buyers because of bad photos. Then there's social media advertising, sticking money into promoting the open house and just advertising your listing in general to attract the right buyer and whatever else that agent has in their marketing package. So at 6% commission, at the end of the day, the agent who has worked super hard to get your house sold is left with about half a percentage um, to pay their own bills, to continue marketing their business, feed their families, fill their car with gas, and just live. Before you ask an agent to cut their commission or just focus on that number, understand what that actually could mean for you when you're selling your home. So that's it. That's how real estate commission works. Um, talking about money can be awkward, but it doesn't have to be. So thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to learn more about my listing method and what you can expect as my client, let's grab coffee. It's a great chance for us to connect and for me to learn more about you and your goals and how I can help you reach those goals without going through a super stressful process. You're going to want to tune in next week because next week I'm going to spill three secrets about real estate agents that you probably didn't know but should. Have a great weekend, everyone.